Hey everyone, my name is Patrick and I'm the training manager here at OneLogin and today I'm going to show you how to set up provisioning for Dropbox in OneLogin. Alright, let's go ahead and log in. Now let's go ahead and select apps and then company apps. I'm going to go down to Dropbox and the first thing I want to talk about is the silent provisioning flag. Select Silent Provisioning if you want to prevent Dropbox from sending a welcome email to new users when they're provisioned to Dropbox from one login. Now regardless of what you set here, an invitation email is required to activate a user in Dropbox. If you select this option, you still need to send an invitation either using the admin portal or the API. The use case here is you may want to create a bunch of users before their hire date and then send them the welcome email and give them access on the day that they're hired. Alright, so next I'm going to go over to provisioning and I'm going to enable provisioning. So these three flags create tasks for me that I have to approve in order for a user to be created, deleted, or updated in Dropbox from one login. I'll show you a little bit more about that later when we're testing to make sure that everything's working properly. Now I'm going to choose if I want delete or do nothing when I delete a user in one login. I'm going to choose to delete a user in Dropbox when I delete a user in one login. Lastly, for entitlements, you always need to select refresh entitlements if you plan on provisioning to things like app attributes in that application. So click refresh in order to bring all of those Dropbox groups over so we can provision to them. Let's go ahead and select save now and head down to the Parameters tab. On the Parameters tab, you can see that we don't have a default setting for groups, and that's because we have not decided to assign a singular Dropbox group to all of the users that we provision to Dropbox. This is the preferred method. It suggested that you don't just outright assign a group to everyone or assign multiple groups to everyone. It's better to control that level of access with rules, which are app-specific provisioning mappings, and I'll show you how to create one of those in just a moment. But if you scroll down from here, you'll see this flag down here, include in user provisioning. If you don't check that box, then you cannot provision to those entitlements. So I'm going to check this box here, and then click Save. From here, I'm going to go to Rules. And on the rules page, I'm going to create that app-specific provisioning mapping that I was talking about. So click on New Rule. And I'm going to call this rule Employee Guides Group. Because that's the name of my group from Dropbox. All right. And if I wanted to, I could set a condition or I could just outright assign it. If I just outright assigned it, then it would assign it to everyone and there'd be no difference between creating this mapping and just assigning it as the default value. So I'm going to create a condition and I'll, I'll do something fairly generic here, nothing too crazy. I'll just do email contains and then I'll just use my domain. I could be more specific. If this was say a marketing specific group in Dropbox, I could say, you know, if the user is in the marketing role, assign this group to that user or to those users that are in that role. As long as you understand that you can add more complexity, that's the most important thing here. All right, next I'm going to check this box as the group that I will assign with this mapping and I'll click on save. Now anytime you create, delete, or update a mapping, you always need to reapply your mapping. So I'm going to go up here to more actions and then reapply my provisioning mappings. So mappings are being reapplied. Check out the logins in a few moments. So, okay, thank you. So at this point, what we'll do is we'll click on save in the upper right-hand corner. So now what we'll do is we will go to the Access tab. From the Access tab, we are going to assign Dropbox to a role. For testing purposes, I'm going to assign it to the test role. In the test role already, I have a test user assigned. I'm going to click on save. Now at this point, we should see a create user task created that we have to then approve. Because as you recall, for creating, deleting, or updating a user, it requires admin approval. So let's go to users and then go to provisioning. Ah, create user in Dropbox pending. So I need to then open this. 
and then I then have to approve it in order for that user to be created and provisioned in Dropbox. So click approve. So that task was completed successfully. So now if we go back to apps, company apps, and then Dropbox, go over to the users tab, and it says it's provisioning right now, and now it's pending again. Now, the reason why it's pending is because, as you recall, we also have a rule, and that rule is an update. So that rule also requires me to approve a task. So let's go back to users, and then provisioning, and now update user has its own task. So click on update user, and as you can see, we're trying to provision the employee guides Dropbox group to that user, so click on approve. And now go to apps again, and then company apps. We're almost done testing, I promise. <laughs> then go to Dropbox. Head on over to users. It says modifying, now provisioned. We got there just in the nick of time, so we would see the update changes. They're pretty quick. All right, so this user has been created and updated. Now, if I wanted to delete that user, I could also do that. So if we go to the Access tab, and we remove the test role, that will also deprovision our user who is assigned to that role. So now let's click on Save. Let's go back to Users, and then Provisioning. We can now delete this user, so I'll click on that task and then approve it. And we have successfully tested create, update, and delete. If we go back to our application, we are in good standing. What I would suggest at this point now that we've tested it is to go back to that provisioning tab and then just uncheck these boxes. One thing to note here if you were to, say, test with five or six users and you test it, create, delete, and update with just a few of them, if you uncheck those boxes and then click Save, everybody that already had pending tasks still have to be approved or skipped over. Otherwise, those users will just sit there in that pending state. So that's something to be aware of. All right, I'm going to click on Save now. And I am ready to provision more users to Dropbox. At this point, I want to thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos on our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out on our Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube page. In addition, please continue to check out our awesome help center for up-to-date information on new features and all you need to know to use one login.